rip currents occur on most Australian beaches. They are a strong force and at times can be difficult to see. You might think you know how to spot a rip, but the fact is 70% of people can't. And two out of three people who think they can spot a rip get it wrong, sometimes with deadly consequences. Here's how a rip forms. When waves break on a beach, they push water towards the shoreline. Once that water reaches the shore, it has to find a way to get back out to sea. So it flows into the deeper channels and away from the shore. These deeper channels are called rip currents or rips. Here are some examples of rips. They can behave and flow in different ways. They can be found against headlands, Sometimes they flow directly out to sea. They can also flow at an angle. Or the current may circulate back to shore. These are the things to look for. Deeper, dark coloured water. Fewer breaking waves. A rippled surface surrounded by smooth waters. Anything floating out to sea or foamy, discoloured, sandy water flowing out beyond the waves. Rips don't always show all of these signs at once. Some rips may only have one or two signs. Always spend time checking the water before you go in. Don't risk the rip. If the beach is patrolled, then swim between the red and yellow flags. Visit beachsafe.org.au or download the app to find out what you don't know about rips.